Hello. I will speak about the quality and uh, fullness of data, what methods we use to evaluate data. It's the plan of my presentation. After the introduction, we'll speak about comparability, fullness, uh, validity, timeliness, and at the end, we'll make a conclusion. And these are the main indicators of uh, cancer register quality, comparability, statistic data provided by cancer registered that should uh, come be acquired with the, the same or similar methods. The fullness of data is the level of engagement of all diagnosed neoplasms among population. Validity is a share of cases um, with uh, certain characteristics uh, and timeness is the time within which a register can uh, acquire and process and also submit uh, the necessary data about incidents. And now I would like to speak about each uh, indicator in particular. Comparability is uh, ensured uh, by compliance uh, with international classifications and standards. Uh, you have uh, international standards uh, for different diseases. At the same time, we have recommendations uh, on how to determine the date of um, getting ill. And uh, there's the so-called TNM classification. Comparability is uh, ensured with the help of thorough analysis of uh, information acquiring mechanisms. This is the description of system which is used to, to classify and code neoplasms in terms of morphology and topography. They described uh, that uh, they made an analysis from 1953 to 2002. Description of system. What should it include? The year of the start of registration, what classifications are used, if there is a change when it happened, what classification is used nowadays, and what registered cases are there. Fullness of data is uh, the level of uh, engagement uh, of all diagnosed uh, neoplasms uh, in the population. Here we calculate uh, indicators uh, of incidence uh, and survival rate. Uh, we can achieve it uh, by analyzing information from all possible sources. In order to assess uh, fullness of data, we have uh, quality and quantitative methods. Uh, quantitative and qualitative methods described on this uh, slide uh, allow you to assess the fullness of data in comparison to data from other registers uh, received from a long period of time. Historical methods, um, ratio between uh, mortality and um, incidence, uh, just a logical verification of uh, a diagnosis. Qualitative, uh, quantitative methods um, provide assessment uh, of uh, fullness of registration, the use of more than one international expo experts, um, additional correctness uh, registration, and uh, death certificates. This is an example on how we evaluate uh, the fullness of data um, as the time goes. For example, our colleagues from Norway say that they have a systematic uh, changes uh, of incidence trends. So if you have a look at the slide, you can see that it's an example taken from Bulgaria. And we can say that in 1957, there was uh, a peak of lung cancer incidents, and this uh, peak was observed uh, also in different locations. It happened because uh, cancer register began to use 
death uh, registration data. Let me give you another example how we compare the level of incidence in similar populations, Bulgaria, Slovenia, Croatia, Serbia. When we analyzed trends and incidence trends, we saw that it was similar in those countries. There are some differences among lung cancer incidents, Slovenia, Croatia, Serbia incidents decreased, but in Bulgaria it increased. So when we see certain differences in trends between populations, we have to find explanation why it happens. As an example, I can tell you that uh, Bulgaria, in Bulgaria, the main risk factor is uh, smoking for lung cancer. In other countries, there are methods of uh, tobacco smoking uh, limitations uh, which were more efficient in comparison to Bulgaria. How do we use uh, the ratio between mortality and incidence? We compare the data received from independent sources and uh, registers. The ratio should be one between five years of uh, survival rate. Standards for this comparison and rations can be chosen when you compare regions with similar um, surviving rate. And this is an example on how you can compare the ratio between mortality and incidence in Norway and Finland. This is an example on uh, how you can compare this incidence uh, in Eastern Europe. We don't have uh, precise uh, indicators. Uh, we can get it only when we compare the data with other similar populations. The assessment of data fullness um, can be received when you compare age indicators. You know that uh, um, cervical cancer incidence increases and the highest uh, ra rate uh, among young women, then it decreases. The incidence uh, of uh, rectal cancer increases uh, with uh, the time. So if you follow this trend, you can say that uh, it complies uh, with reality. Another sensitive indicator is uh, incidence uh, and uh, appearance of neoplasms among children. An international agency that studies cancer developed such references for boys and girls. If incidence is within the limits, then we can say that fullness of uh, data among uh, children cancer is quite good. This is an example about methods uh, of repeated check uh, of registration correction. It's called capture recapture. You can use it to assess fullness of registration. Why? Because the sources of registration are sources of uh, information from hospitals, uh, um, organizations that uh, submit death certificates and different uh, independent bodies. If you know how many cases um, are registered by one sources, then we can determine uh, how many cases of uh, cancer disease uh, we skipped. Um, so here you can see information from the first source. This information was registered in the second source. And those um, were not registered, so they simply missed them. 
And when we create uh, such kind of table, we calculate uh, the number of uh, cases registered from two sources. Uh, for example, this one is registered in the first source, but there's no information from the second, registered in the second, but no information from the first. And uh, we have uh, also cases that were not registered in neither of them. And then according to this formula, you can assess uh, the share of cases uh, without registration. And this is an example of how we calculate it, and of course, based uh, on uh, private information. The fullness of uh, registration, 50.5%. Uh, how do we use uh, death certificates um, for cancer registration? When uh, there's a malignant uh, tumor, and it's a reason, of uh, death, uh, then uh, such a death certificate is issued. We compare it uh, to the database, and if uh, a patient is not registered, then you have to find additional information. If uh, in cancer register doesn't manage to find additional information, then these uh, cases are registered uh, only on the basis of um, death certificate. For them, uh, cancer, certificate, cancer register does not receive any information from laboratories or hospitals. We use a GQ formula, and uh, we can assess uh, fullness of registration when we have information about the number of uh, cases um, based uh, on the death certificate and ID ratio. That's another example on how you can use the same formula. It's an example taken from Bulgaria. We know number of cases with uh, death certificates and ID ratio, and then on the basis of that, we can assess uh, fullness indicator 95.3%. And here you can see how you calculate it, because uh, in every cancer register that has uh, information about death uh, certificate, uh, you can use uh, it uh, to assess uh, the data. This formula seems very complicated, but I would like to show you this example just to demonstrate that it's possible. Another quite a complicated method, it's called flow method. Here you assess three possibilities, and at the end of the day, you get a diagram that demonstrates when a Russian register reaches fullness of registration, three years after diagnosis date. How to assess uh, validity and preciseness of data? Validity is a number of cases uh, with certain characteristics uh, complying with the criteria. It is assessed uh, with uh, re-acquiring uh, of information and re-coding internal uh, comparability for further checks, morphological verification, Diagnosis should be morphologically verified. Then we have cases uh, when uh, the, we have only information based on the death certificate and lack of information, like no, um, we don't know sex, we don't know age, and we don't know the stage of cancer. But how do we assess uh, such an indicator as validity. Again, when we compare similar populations, you can see that morphologically verified cases for countries in Eastern Europe differ from 73% up to 91-92%. It's a 
percentage of information based on death certificate, uh, it uh, varies uh, from 1 to 11 percent. percent. And uh, cases um, based uh, on the lack of information, well, here these uh, data are also different within certain limits. And when you need to verify the data and validity of data in a particular country, you have to analyze these indicators and take decision. Timeness uh, is the time uh, within which uh, register can acquire, process, and uh, submit uh, reliable and full data on incidents. Electronic acquiring of data can increase the speed of registration, but it's not always uh, accessible. Some registers uh, require from their regional members to provide data 22-24 months after the end of reporting period. On this slide, you can see the results uh, of uh, methods used uh, by cancer register in Europe. It's interesting to see that uh, a small part of uh, cancer register really registers actually assess the quality of their data. They use uh, different uh, methods for to check comparability of data. They compare uh, data on the basis of ID ratio and also apply methods um, on the basis of death certificate. But there are other more complicated methods that are not used often. Here is an example about the completeness and fullness of data registration from the registers in Europe. The biggest share of registers report the fullness between 90 and 95 percent. That's the top figures. Here are some examples taken from major international cancer studies which use cancer register data. All of them start the analysis having uh, assessed uh, the data from the cancer registers. This is the other example from Concord. And again, the first table is uh, the assessment of cancer register data using certain indicators. One more example, it's a, a publication from Eastern European countries, uh, again, uh, relying on um, cancer register data, and they uh, identify the quality of this register data. So, and to conclude, so all the population registers and uh, research projects which uh, base uh, uh, their research on this Registers must uh, provide uh, a quality assessment uh, in terms of uh, 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 compatibility, fullness, validity, and timeliness uh, of the data because it will impact uh, our attitude towards uh, uh, the data. And remember, only God is perfect. Thank you for your attention. Got any questions, comments? So I'm um, obviously the there is um uh, oh have you got your English is okay I, I understand yeah 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 I thought um, so this death certificate only rates across some um, various registries in even in within Europe yeah uh, very a great deal so what is the policy now of IR with regard to inclusion of data from registries within CI five um, particularly focusing on DCO yeah. Uh, well, in the previous uh, edition of uh, CI5, Cancer Residence in Five Continents, continents IARC uh, used to classify the registries in group A, B, and C mm -hmm. in order to be included in the edition uh, according to their data quality. But uh, for the last uh, CI5-10 edition, um, they decided uh, just to um, indicate what is the data quality for each cancer registry which is included in the uh, CI5 uh, edition without classifying the registries into groups. It's up to the reader to uh, decide uh, if the 
uh, estimates presented for uh, incidence and uh, mortality reliable and how to interpret them in the scope of the presented data quality indicators. So for each of the um, body sites, obviously it varies a great deal between body site TCO. Um, and then they have information on um, the testification only and also histological verification, I assume. So how many, what, how many, what percentage of the cases are verified by histopathological assessment? Yeah. Well, uh, all the indicators uh, regarding validity have to be interpreted in the context of the regional characteristics uh, of the registries and the countries because social economic status and organization of medical cares very strongly influenced all these indicators. Yeah. So, uh, for Europe, uh, is uh, accepted uh, more than 90% of the morphological verification of the cases is uh, okay. Less than 5% of uh, death certificate notifications, less than 5% uh, of uh, cases with unspecified uh, information. Yeah. But uh, this is not an absolute uh, no, I know. measure. Yeah. Uh, I know in Japan, there are a lot of the registries in Japan, although they're high quality, the DCO rates are up 10, 15, 20, 20% yeah. for some of the cancers. Anyway. Yeah, okay, yeah. any other questions, comments? In which case, thank you once again for a very interesting thank talk.